Hi all, welcome back to my channel. In this video series, we learn about various data structures, pros and cons and its applications. If you are new to this channel, then please do subscribe to our channel and also press the bell icon. Now let's discuss about circular doubly linked list. Linked lists where nodes are con connected to form a circle. Tail nodes next field points to head. Head nodes previous field points to tail. This is how a single node of a circular doubly linked list looks like. The node structure is same as doubly linked list. That is, uh, it has a previous field value, then uh, data field value, uh, which is filled with value, and then next field value. Now, this is a doubly linked list. If the tail, if the tail points to head, and if the head points to tail, then it's a circular doubly linked list. We'll see its structure. Struct node int data. Struct node asterisk prev. Struct node asterisk next. New node. New node is struct node star malloc size of struct node. We give uh, some memory allocation using malloc function, which is a dynamic memory allocation method. So you will be having a node, new n, uh, with three fields and some garbage value in the beginning. Now let's see the creation of singly, sorry, circular doubly linked list. New node data will be given some value. New node previous will be null and new nodes next will be null. Initially, we give this values to the fields of a node. Now if head is null, head is new node. Tail is new node, temp is new node. Else, temp's next is new node, new node's previous is temp. Temp is equal to new node, tail is equal to temp. Head's previous is tail and tail's next is head. Now let's see how it works. If head is equal to null, implies that the list is empty and you just have this node which with which you are going to form a linked list. So, new node is created and it's having some data uh, value as 100, then uh, the previous and the next field value is null. And you make new node as head, tail and temp as shown. It's a temporary node. Okay, now this is in an iteration. So, when you go on to the second iteration with a new node, head will not be null. You already have head, so you go to else part. Temporary next is, temporary's next is new node. This is not the new node now. It is head, tail as well as temporary. You have another new node in the second iteration. So else temps next is new node. Now tempor temporary's next field will point to new node. So this will be having the value of this node. So the address of new node will be present in temps right field or new next field. Now new nodes previous is temp. This field which will be having a value of null initially will be pointing to head now temporary is new node this is not temp instead this is temp and tail is equal to temp the second node is tail head's previous is tail this is head head's previous will be pointing to tail oops okay and then Tails next will point to head. This is tail. This would be pointing to neck, uh, head. Tails next will be pointing to head. If it starts with second iteration, then it has only two nodes. If you have more nodes, then it would be uh, placed adjoining to the temporary node and the last node will be called as temp, tail. So that's it for creation of linked list, circular W linked list. Now let's see insertion at the beginning. Consider a linked list initially with head and tail as shown and then we have created a new node. Now beginning, head of, to insert at the beginning, head's previous is new node, new node's next is head, head's, head is new node, head's previous is tail, tail's next is head. Now this is the new node. You need to make this head in order to uh, join it to this node. So first head's previous is new node. Head's previous, you are forming a link over here. Then next new node is head. 
this one's next notes new is or next notes next is head now head is new note this is not head instead this node is head now head's previous is tail this field is going to point to tail head's previous is tail this black color link won't exist instead we have the green link now tail's next is head tail's next is head this would be pointing to head so these two black color links would be removed in, and this green link would be formed and hence you insert a node at the beginning making it head now coming to insertion at the end let's see the code snippet tails next is new node new node's previous is tail tail is new node or tail is tails next you can use any one of the statements not both now tails next is head and head's previous is tail now you have a linked list with head and tail as shown after you traverse from here till here till the end you get to know which is the tail or in your program you have already mentioned what is the tail node while coding so now tails next is new node you are making tail point to new node mm -hmm. so this so this link would be erased or it would be gone now new nodes previous is tail you form this link over here oops New nodes previous will point to tail. Now tail is the new node. This is not the tail. Instead this node is tail. Now tails next is head. Tails next is head. So tails next will point to head. Now heads previous is tail. Heads previous will point to tail. This is the tail right. This won't exist. That's it. Now deletion at beginning. First we'll have, uh, I'll just read the code snippet, temp is head, head is heads next, temp's next is null, temp's previous is null, head's previous is tail, tail's next is head and free temp. So now initially temp is head. Yay. So now temp is pointing to head, so temp is head, head is heads next. Now we are making this uh, the node pointed by heads next as head, so the second node is head. Now temp's next is null, temp's previous is null. These two statements will make these two fields as null. So there won't exist any relation or any link from the node temp with the linked list. Now head's previous is tail. You make these connections as to head pointing to tail and tail pointing to head. Now this is isolated, right? This node is isolated. It is just taking up memory. It is waste. It's wasting the memory. So now free temp. Free is used to deallocate the memory. So free temp, then you can delete this node. Hence the node is deleted. Now we'll see how we delete a node at the end. We'll see the code snippet. Temp is tail. Tail is tail's previous. Temp's previous is null. Temp's next is null. Tail's next is head. Head's previous is tail and free temp. Now you have a linked list with head and tail known to us. We will make temporary node point to tail as shown. Now tail is tail's previous. You are shifting tail to the previous node of tail. Right? Now tens previous is null. Tens next is null. As I said, you are making these two fields of tail null. So it is no longer going to point to any of the nodes in the linked list. Now tails next is head. This tails next is going to point to head and heads previous is going to point to tail. Right? Tail node. Now this node is isolated. So we'll uh, deallocate the memory. Free temp. Free temp. And hence the memory is deallocated and the node is deleted at the end. So that's it for this video. Let's meet in the next video. Please do subscribe to our Science Tutorials channel and also press the bell icon to get more instant updates immediately.